She is the current LPWA Ladies Champion at 130 pounds from Perth, Australia, Susan Sexton. Very honestly, in her last few times out, Susan Sexton has not really performed as you would expect a champion to. But you've got to understand one thing. She still has held on to the title. There's no question. Like a batter in baseball runs into a slump, that doesn't mean he's not a batting champion. There's even a drawn look about Sexton. And Lottie Kai wasting no time. Perhaps Ooh. she also saw a scouting report that Sexton was tired. Goes right to work on the champion. Now, what I want to point out is the crispness of the moves of Leilani Kai. I mean, just what she's grabbing, what she's taking, how she's doing it right there. I mean, there's that intense enthusiasm that she's demonstrating at this very moment. And you can see she, she, she senses the urgency that she very, very much has to get on top of this as fast as she can. And Lonnie Kai continuing to work on the champion. And so far, only a minute or so into the match, it's been all Leilani Kai and Susan Sexton looking very tired. But Lonnie Kai, really, in this one, has everything to gain, nothing to lose. Absolutely. And the, else, and the other thing, too, is Leilani Kai. Oh, oh. Sexton, cross body block off the second row, Comes count of one, one, count of two, but Kai kicked her off. Now, perhaps, we're seeing the champion and why she is the ladies' champion. Sexton, something in the line. Oh, good one, too. The Australian is operating in one gear more. She's setting up, looks like, for a Texas Bulldog. Goes to show you how fast it can turn around. And Lonnie Kai, suddenly in a world of her champion, goes for the cover, hooks a leg, count of two, and that's all. Lonnie Kai able to kick out at two and a half. But, boy, how very quickly the momentum changed. Sexton now, Vildro takes Kai over. Kai now grabs her hair and goes right to a head scissors. I, I've got to say, uh, so far, what I consider an excellent match, there's no question, Leilani Kai really took it to the champion, but then that's what's nice about somebody that's got all that talent and ability, and especially with a championship caliber, that is why they're champion. They can turn it around in an instantaneous moment. And Susan Sexton now trying to work to her feet to get out of that head scissors, power out of it, and she is able to, it goes right to a headlock on Leilani Kai, and Kai pulls the hair and has her count of two, but that's all, and Sexton is able to kick over the hair again, hooks the leg, Again, it kind of do. Understand, understand one thing. Both these ladies are championship caliber. Leilani Kai at one time was the tag team champion. Along with Judy Martin. Exactly. And they're demonstrating by the consistency of their moves. Both of them going back to the headlock. The other one trying to take advantage. Even though the headlock is on her, she still was putting her on her shoulders. Leilani Kai now working her way to her feet. Sexton holding out, but not exactly sure what Leilani Kai has in mind. You can almost see the question on her face as Kai just rams her into the turnbuckle and breaks the hold. And now one right to the breadbasket. Kai continuing to work on the champion who's in the corner. Lonnie Kai, as you said, has seen it all in the ring, a former tag team champion. So she is not at all intimidated by the fact she is in with the world's champion. Cover, roll up, count of two, and Sexton is able to kick out. Nick, so far this match has been about 50-50. It really has. you got to understand something on Leilani Kai's part. Leilani Kai knows that if she doesn't accomplish something here, she may be pushed way down the line. Referee checking Leilani Kai, as you might imagine, saying the trunks, absolutely not, sir. I would never do that. Of course, we tend to know a little bit different. Now Sexton trying to work to her feet, trying to break that hold, and is able to do so. Sexton, Sexton has that European truth. She is very schooled and fundamental, but right now I think she's thrown after the wind. A series of three chops on Lonnie Kai and now takes her and throws her across the ring. Excellent, excellent match. I, you know, I'm very, and the people are telling you how excellent as far as they're concerned. Sexton, as far as I'm concerned, is really showing what she's got going for. Her. And a lot of people want to say that they think like Lonnie Kai is washed up, but don't you ever believe it. She's got the talent, and she's got the know-how, and if she can just muster up that little bit of extra energy, she's going to make life miserable for Sexton. Well, she certainly is doing so right now. Susan Sexton certainly knows she is in for the battle of her life with Leilani Kai. We talked about Kai in a very enviable position right now in this match because she has everything in the world to gain scoring, even a non-title win over the world champion, and certainly very little to lose because, honestly, she is the underdog in this one.
tremendous crowd on hand here for the LPWA. But it's really a buzz because they're sensing, hey, this is the world champion. They may see a tremendous upset in the making. It's like when you watch the world champion San Francisco 49ers when it comes to the third, fourth quarter there behind. People say, hey, we may, we got a ball game on our hands. Well, I think the other thing happening here, too, is they know it's an untitled match, but the one thing that's taking place is the simple fact that it's an excellent match. It really is. Up goes the champion. Down goes the champion. As Kai now goes for the cover. A bit of a lazy Ooh, cover. She yeah. would have hooked the leg. She may have lazy had a three cover, count. but if you notice, a very unenthusiastic kick or raising of the shoulder by the champion. So oh. I'm, I think both of them are starting to show the wear and tear of the pace that they've been setting. Champion has got to be tired. Kai a boot to the hamstring area of the champion. It looks like Kai right now started off working on the arms. Now is trying to take the legs out for the champion. We've talked about Sexton, the Australian background. If she could damage one of those legs, that'll take an awful lot out of the arsenal of the world champion. Well, whenever you take a, in any sport, you take a knee out or one of the wheels out from an athlete. Oh, whoa! move by the champion that's one reason no one's been able to take that belt away from her as yet Sexton not continuing to work on the hamstring areas of Leilani Kai she wants to take her someplace and she wants to do something with her I'm not quite sure what it is oh right there is your answer that's the hyper extension of actually both the knees if you catch her right oh. at okay, this point this, Lonnie this. Kai in a lot of pain you know, not one leg, but both legs. Now Sexton goes for the one, one leg. If, if she could have, I think at this point, some kind of a, uh, not necessarily a step over toe, but a figure four, was once you have weakened both knees, something like a figure four is really advantageous at that point. The champion now going to work on Kai. This one has been going quite a while. Oh, uh -huh. Sexton telegraphed it a little bit early. Kai saw it. She was trying to set her up for back body drop. Kai caught her with a boot right to the midsection. Now, Kai sets her up. Oh, and over. She came down on the hip. Not as Kai as goes to the cover. Him. Caught him two. Champion got the shoulder up. The thing is, Lani Kai is carrying some extra weight, but she's using it tremendously well. Uh, some would say, well, she might be 10 or 15 pounds over, but she's been demonstrating how well she can move around that ring. Kai so sets her up it. now. Sets the able to reverse oh. it. Up and over goes Kai. Both girls tired. Sexton now with a drop kick. Now Sexton going up in some dangerous territory. He's going up on the top rope. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, Kai's in trouble. Oh, Kai. Fly cross body block. Count of two. And there's a bell. Referee signals. We'll wait for the official announcement. I don't think we saw a count of three from the official, whether the bell rang or Lonnie Kai got her shoulder up, but it's very interesting. Kai visibly upset when she had the champion beat, while Sexton seems just relieved to be out of the match. At any rate, now, here's the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, this match has ended in a time limit draw. Well, no. Wow. Boy, I'll tell you what, the champion... Uh, well, the point was that the bell can ring just at that very instantaneous moment. That's what took place, and I think it had all of us fooled. Well, it certainly did, but at any rate, Bonnie Blackstone is standing by with the champion. This should be very interesting. Ken, I wanted to give Superstar Sexton just a couple of seconds to catch your breath. Superstar, obviously, I wish I were congratulating you for another great victory, but what happened out here? Obviously, Lilani Kai came out here and, quite frankly, took you to the limit. Well, Lilani Kai is a very accomplished wrestler. Unfortunately, my schedule doesn't leave me too much time to keep up with training and keeping in condition. Sometimes you get matched. Tonight was a match. I kept the strap, but next time I'm going to beat her. Speaking of your training and your schedule, a lot of people, superstars, say that you may be reaching a point in your career where keeping up with the LPWA championship, keeping up with your schedules is starting to burn you out. Are you getting a little fizzled on the ends? Fizzled on the ends, maybe, but I'm not burned out by a long way. A true champion can hang in there.